that day when the bus driver asked me to get up, I had this feeling come over me. It felt like Harriet Tubman was holding me down, hands were holding me down on one shoulder, and Sojourner Truth hands were holding me down on another shoulder. And I was glued to the seat, and I could hear the white passioners saying, she got to move, she got to move. That's the law, she got to move. And I felt like this is my time to take a stand for justice. <laughs> my name is Claudette Colvin, and in 1955, I refused to give up my seat to a white passenger on the bus in Montgomery, Alabama, nine months before Rosa Parks. I was 15 years old, and the rule in the segregation that a white person had to sit in front of you, and you sit behind them. And so the bus driver asked me to get up. I was shouting, it's my constitutional right, so I'm not going to move. And that's when the bus, the policeman dragged me off the bus. Most people ask me, were you afraid? Well, I was a teenager. I was afraid, but I was more angry at, at these white passioners. And then they took me and booked me. Uh, I still vividly can hear that, the sound of the key go, and it, I was terrified. And I started reciting the Lord's Prayer. Thou will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And I was just praying for help, <laughs> you know, praying that they would go and let my parents know that I was in jail. My mom would say, yeah, Claudette, I think you was anointed by God to do this. I said, I don't think so, Mom. I just had, I just felt that this was not right. I just wanted people to come together and unify and fight this segregation. 